So the CDC updated and revised the developmental milestone checklist for children on their website. The last update was almost 20 years ago from the CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics. The updates are part of the Learn the Science Act Early program, which was created in 2004 and provides a free checklist of developmental milestones for infants, which contains warning signs of developmental delays. So why the change? One of the main reasons for the change is because the old checklist was based on a 50% criteria for children to meet the milestone, which may not be as helpful for parents if determining if a 50-50 chance was enough to be experiencing developmental delays. The new checklist is more pertinent to the population of children because essentially 75% of children will reach each milestone compared to 50%. This means that the cutoff may help to detect if something is more seriously wrong and for parents to seek help with services. Overall, more social and emotional milestones were added compared to language, cognitive, and physical milestones. Also, you should keep in mind that developmental milestones are broad guidelines and there can be a lot of variation. They reflect the neurotypical or the neural majority of children may have differences, but not necessarily be a problem either. When considering milestones, children may skip milestones, have delays in them, take longer than their peers, but overall, may turn out fine. These new CDC guidelines suggest a different kind of focus and more of a range for meeting developmental milestones. I think these changes will have an effect on many things, such as the statistics for future research, outcome measures, and even for occupational therapy interventions in practice, as well as the services that children receive. As it is more inclusive in terms of the statistics, it will be more pertinent for children, but one change, that is the pushing of milestones further back in age, We'll shift our practice as well as children getting services potentially. While this video is not meant to be a deep dive of every change, here are some of the general revisions of the CDC milestone checklists. One, the language and jargon were made to be more reader friendly. Two, vague language such as may and begins were removed. For example, begins to pass from one hand to another was removed and included as moves things from one hand to her other hand. Three, each age group contains fewer developmental milestones compared to before. 57 CDC milestones, or 26%, were removed, which was more than half of the original 216 milestones. 94 of the 159 milestones are from the original, with 65 new ones being added. One third of the original milestones were moved to a different age on the basis of the research, and 21 of the 31 milestones were transferred to an older age. Duplicate milestones and repetitive language were removed. Two new checklists were added at 15 and 30 months. A checklist for every wellness visit for children from two months to five months were added. There are now a total of 159 milestones contained in the 12 checklists. In terms of the domains, cognitive milestones decreased by 50%, language decreased by 9%, and motor decreased by 6%. 77 of the developmental warning signs in the original checklist had a 77% corresponding milestone on the new checklist. So now some controversy. According to one Parents.com article, occupational therapist Jessica Hatfield believes that moving milestones such as fine motor skills to older ages will make it harder to provide early intervention and detection basically. Crawling was also removed as a developmental milestone you'll notice is no longer in the checklist. This is a pretty big one as crawling involves many developmental skills from coordination, reflex, strength, vision, basically the whole body. This may be very controversial change on one side because crawling is seen as very important for development, like traditionally. And on the other side, it may not seem as significant because it wasn't included in the checklist. Maybe that's because some babies do skip crawling and use other methods for locomotion, such as scooting, slithering, and rolling. Others may just move directly to other milestones, such as pulling up, standing, cruising, then walking eventually. So what do you think of these new changes? Do you agree with them? What did you like about it? And what did you not like so much about it? And these checklists are all available on the CDC website. I'll include it in the video description links. Also, there is an app that they made that corresponds to this checklist and it's in an easier to digest format for your mobile. That's great for you as a practitioner, for families, for parents especially parents who are first-time parents as well. And that's called the Milestone Tracker, and it's available on Android and iPhone. Thanks for watching. My name is Jeff, and have a nice day.